So hello friends, welcome back. Today we have another question for J Advanced. It is from mathematics this time. So let us see the question. Uh, so we are given f x. f x is x square minus one square into this expression into polynomial. And uh, we need to find the minimum number of rows of f dash x equal to zero and f double dash x equal to zero. Yeah, combine to that. So we need to uh, find the minimum uh, number of rows for that. So first of all, understand this is a general expression that we have given. So maybe maybe uh, this is the thing that we have to be specifically be using, right? So what do we do? Now this is one hint from the question that we get. So in mathematics, you know, you need to get different hints, then only you can get the answer. So this is one hint that this is a specific part we need to take care of. This is a general expression. Second is minimum number of roots. Yeah, this term was used in Rose theorem or Lagrange's theorem. Yeah. So that also should click in the mind as yes, it can be from that uh, category of questions. So let us first see what we can do. So as you can see, f1 is 0 and f of minus 1 is also 0. Right? That means, and this is a polynomial function, that means it is continuous and essential. So how do we go? f1 is 0, f of minus 1 is 0. The function might have gone like this or maybe from the bottom side since it is uh, differential continuous. So at least at one location somewhere its slope must be zero. Yeah. So if it goes like this then also the slope is zero at some point and if it goes like this so the slope can be zero at multiple points but at least one root that we have. So f dash x is zero the slope of the graph f dash x is equal to 0 at some point between minus 1 and 1. This is one thing, okay? I am erasing this now. Second thing, so let us calculate f dash x. So f dash x you can go by for the product rule. So it will be 2 x square minus 1 into 2 x into expression remains the same. I hope you know the product rule plus so the expression remains the same again sorry this expression remains same again x square minus 1 square into the derivative of this that is a1 2 a2x 3 a3x square yeah so we have applied the product rule so the derivative of this this remains constant yes derivative again by chain rule that we have done and in the next step uh, this is constant and again this derivative is this so we can see again f dash x is equal to 0 at 1 and minus 1 x belongs to minus 1 and 1 yes so f dash x is becoming 0 at 2 points now f dash x is 0 between these also so we have 3 points at which f dash x is 0 got it so f dash x is 0 at 3 points that means minus 1 so this is the graph of f dash x, not f x, it is for f dash x. So f dash x is 0 at 3 points, 1, 2 and 3. Okay, so somewhere between it is also 0. So the graph might be like this or maybe it is like this that we do not know. But this is for sure at one point it intersected the x-axis because it is 0 at one point in between. Now you can see the slope again. The slope again is getting 0 at 2 points. That means f double dash x. Yeah. Again, the derivative of fx is f double dash x. Now the f double dash x is 0 at 2 points at least. It can get multiple points from the diagram that I just erased. But at least at 2 points, f double dash x is equal to 0. That means how many total 5 is the answer. Yeah? 3 and 2. So minimum f dash x is 0 at 3 points and f double dash x is 0 at 2 points. So 5 is the answer. So this is a very good question for GE advance. Okay, so we will meet in the next class with again a good problem. And till then uh, stay tuned uh, with all your practices. So just give your best chance. Yeah? Don't think negative. Don't think negative whether the result will come or not. All these stuff. Just you know put them out. Just study. Okay, we'll meet in the next class. Thank you so much.